So the goal of today's video is basically just to educate you guys on how prednisone works uh, because it's just it's just good to know like what's going on in your body and like why it's going on. Um, and then also you can use this as like sort of like a jumping off point of like where to start doing your own research um, on like how prednisone works because I think it's good for you to learn, um, not just take what I say. Um, so maybe use this as like where to begin your research on like how prednisone works. Um, so basically to begin, it's a steroid, which a lot of people are familiar with, like anabolic steroids that like, you know, get you jacked. Um, and so any sort of steroid, um, just like a steroid type of drug is basically a synthesized, um, hormone because like anabolic steroids, those are like excess testosterone. Prednisone, uh, which is a corticosteroid, is just excess cortisol. Um, and normally like an average human adult will have around like five milligrams of cortisol floating through their body throughout the day. And for me, a couple months ago, I had 60 milligrams of prednisone. So that was literally 12 times the normal amount. And some people are on even higher doses um, than that. So that's also why you can't just like stop taking prednisone. Like if any of you guys ever wondered like, why did my doctor say I just can't, I can't just stop taking it. Everyone says it's bad, like bad things will happen. And the reason that it happens is because since it's a hormone in your drug and it's being synthesized, like you don't need to, your body's like, oh, I don't need to make this anymore. I already have cortisol. Like what's, what's the point of making this? So then your body just doesn't make cortisol. So if you stop taking it, your body just does not have any cortisol. And I, one time I forgot to take my prednisone one day and I just woke up the next day with like a migraine. I was like throwing up, like it was, it was pretty awful. I don't want anyone to go through that. So really don't skip your prednisone or try not to even forget. I actually had an alarm set so that I remember to take it so that didn't happen again. <laughs> so the two main properties of cortisol are basically that it's an anti-inflammatory and that it's an immunosuppressant. So the anti-inflammation that could be used for either an autoimmune disease or even as something as simple as like poison ivy. Um, people go in prednisone like a z-pack for like uh, seven days or something like that. Um, but most people with autoimmune diseases, you know, you're on it for a while. Uh, so that's why it's, it's really good to know like how prednisone works. Like if you're on it for like a week, it doesn't really matter if you know how it works. Like you're going to be off it soon anyway. So, um, but like it's, it's really good to know because then you know like you should really avoid alcohol because it weakens the lining of your stomach. Um, you know, like to avoid salt. Uh, you know, basically, uh, I, you know how to avoid like a bunch of terrible side effects. That's another really big reason why you should know how prednisone works. Because if you can figure out how cortisol works, you can figure out how to stop all these like really terrible symptoms. That's basically how I've not gained a lot of weight on prednisone. I, I don't really have that much acne as you can see because I figured out how cortisol works. And what, if you can figure out how it works and like how acne starts, you can just, you can not get acne by making sure that you do things proactively um, to not get acne, to not gain weight, um, to get good sleep, things like that. Um, I really don't have almost any side effects from prednisone. Um, and it's basically just because I did my own research, I found out how prednisone works or how cortisol actually works. Um, and if you can find that out, just like do a bunch of research on your own. Um, if I tried to make a video on like what exactly prednisone does, I, you'd be here for like an hour. So um, that's why I really just encourage you to do your own research, figure out how it works, um, and then you you too can just like not have really any of the symptoms of uh, prednisone. So I'm going to leave the two most helpful uh, links that I found for how cortisol works, how prednisone works, things like that. Um, and then you, so you can do, start your own research from there. You can, you know, obviously use Google. Google is a really good resource. That's all I did really just Google, like, why does prednisone cause water retention? Why does prednisone cause this? Why, like, how does cortisol work? Just research a bunch. It's like, use Google. That's really what I use. Um, uh, but I'm going to leave my, leave my two, uh, most helpful links that I can, uh, so that you guys can, you know, start your research. Um, and yeah, if, if you can figure out how it works, you can avoid a lot of the side effects. And, uh, yeah, this isn't like some weird, like hippy dippy, like, um, homeopathic way of like, uh, avoiding side effects, which I mean, I guess technically it is because you're not using medication, but like, it's just, it's more of like an understanding of how something works so you can counteract it. So, um, yeah, I, I hope this is helpful. I hope you guys do your own research and I hope you guys found out a lot of interesting things that'll help you out. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later.